Uh, so to prep a slate, what you're going to do is you're going to have a Brillo pad. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go not in circles, but you're going to basically go against the grain, if you will. So you're just going to take this Brillo pad and come straight across like that. That's going to prep your call. It takes a little bit, but on a slate call, slates are, the, these two are a little less forgiving. On a slate call, this is pretty forgiving. Uh, you can really kind of come here and figure out anywhere. But it doesn't, it doesn't take a, a whole lot of time. The most important part is keeping your hand cupped on this and then your striker position. Because if I come down straight on the striker, you see that makes absolutely no noise. So I'm really just trying to hit the edge of this striker. So when I come in at an angle now and do that, it gives me that sound. Now you'll notice that I'm not on the sweet spot. The sweet spot of this call is right in here. And you'll notice a difference in sound as I move around. The further I go out from the center of the call, the higher pitch it's going to be. So if I call up here, really high pitch if I call down in here in the center really low pitch you want to be somewhere in between that and what you're looking for is called a rollover so here on this Yelp on this spot it's kind of the same tone however if I come over here to the sweet spot and do the exact same thing You can hear that it goes higher and then kind of uh, bottoms out. That's called the rollover. And that's what you're looking for because when a hen calls, she's opening her mouth with each call. So you're looking for that rollover, which would indicate the opening of the mouth down to her closing of the mouth. Aluminum call is going to give you a higher pitch noise. All three of these calls are worked the exact same way. However, with the variation of strikers and then the material on top, it's going to give you different sounds. The aluminum call is unique because the slate and the glass both need to be prepared or prepped before you use the uh, call. The aluminum call, you don't have any prep work. You just basically are finding a striker and coming in. And it's the same movements for the aluminum call. So you've got your yelp, your cut, and then your purr. That's just giving you a higher pitch call. So uh, windy days or if you are hunting out west and the birds might be three four hundred yards away or even late season when the foliage is heavier and your sounds not being able to carry through the woods as well an aluminum call is a great choice because it's going to pitch that sound out there a lot further and keep in mind that uh, just like humans sound the same all turkeys have their own voice uh, so a hen, a hen may sound different from another hen standing next to it. So the last call we have here is a glass call. Most of your glass calls are going to come with an area already pre-scoured. Uh, the way to prep that is there are either stones or what I like to use is a really aggressive piece of Brillo. And I'm just going to come in here and go once again back and forth. And create an open area with new grinding on it we're gonna hold the call the exact same way strike her the exact same way with our hand on the edge call with our fingers around and then it's the exact same movements once again the striker you'll notice isn't straight up and down it's at an angle so we're gonna come in at an angle and then for the Yelp cut um, perf.